In Battletech, I never use light mech, so they're so fragile. Any bonus on faster mech? Absolutely. It allows you to uh, essentially dodge uh, certain attacks. Like it said there, it allows you to dissipate heat faster. So if I had a really light mech that was a sniper or that had just like a really good assault gun, I could, or that didn't have a dissipation issue when, when moving and firing, you could essentially fire on the go that moves faster than what others can track. You also dissipate faster. So I could do four attacks within five seconds instead of two attacks in five seconds where the, those, the bigger guys or the heavier sniper rifles. So there's definitely advantages to having lighter, uh, lighter guys in this. Whether or not you utilize them, that's completely up to you, but I do find them quite useful. Requires a free unit slot. Slots are taken in store. To increase the number of available slots, visit the upgrade screen. We need another Boyo. Here's the tech screen, by the way. Optimize storage, accelerated repair. We need 800. Adds extra unit slots by reconfiguring internal walls in the mobile base. So we need 800 supplies in order to do that. Uh, I don't know that I'm really ready to get... Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all the twos. We're already almost at threes, so we are going to... Detach all customizable subsystems, dismantle the pieces into supplies. Okay, that didn't give us a ton, but that's okay. <clears throat> Uh, we could get rid of these two shields. Oh, I forgot I did still have the beam weapon. Can guns unstable the opponents? Uh, yes, you can concuss. Uh, you can concuss pilots, which allows, um, which means they can't uh, respond for the rest of the time. Uncommon components, reputation of two. I don't know quite what all that means. And then also again, so like I want to give Sierra a chance to to chill out for a battle. They're getting a little stressed, which is gonna cause some issues. I've got my units. Yeah, we're damaged, that's fine. Uh, Renegade doesn't have a secondary weapon, so we're gonna give them a secondary weapon. Uh, that's painting. I don't wanna paint, there we go. There we go. They now have a secondary weapon, so should they need to, they can uh, fire that. So like te 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 mech, for example, MGs can really be annoying. They could if you can utilize them correctly. All right, so we have contested the province by taking that main area. Now we do have Army Unit 1, which is a broken down convoy, which we could take on, but I do wanna make sure that our units get repaired every time. You connected enough, su enough supplies for a new mech frame. I know I have, but I can't do it, so. I gotta have the extra slot. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna chill out here outside of the base. We're gonna wait for them to repair completely. Oh, we've got reinforcements coming. <laughs> That's right. Get out of here. A commotion outside catches your attention. At the doors of the mech bay, a heated debate between the pilots and the mechanics is underway. One of your recent recruits, a hotshot former stunt pilot, is offered to dazzle the brigade with some flashy tricks. Most of your crew, all fans who recognize the pilot from her touring, touring days, are eager for a demonstration with the exception of the mechanics. Accidental damage, subsequent repair time, and supply costs are top of their concerns. The sticking point is the rookie pilot who wants, uh, who wants to get hands on. Mechs can be replaced, but people? The rookie protests. They've seen battle, and one doesn't learn without risk, but this risk, is it worth a moment of fun? Yeah, let's do it. Rook would be hands of a professional. What better way to learn? The stun pilot hasn't lost her shine. Tensions, uh, tension winds through the crew as the pilot tosses her pistol uh, skyward and launches into an aerial somersault. Despite its bulk, the mech hangs weightlessly at the apex of its arc. Your crew braces for gravity's part, but the landing is masterful, barely shivering the ground. The sun is in your eyes and you miss her catch the pistol. Cheers go up, even several mechanics whoop. Whoop. The stunt pilot instructs the rookie on the simplest part of the trick, the pistol toss. All seems well, but the rookie overconfident in their first catch as it goes for a higher toss. The pistol disappears into the sun. A few meters off, a tree, cleaved in two by a stray bullet, comes down onto the roof of the base. Lessons were learned, your mechanics set to work on repairs. 
That's uh, unfortunate, but also hilarious. Oh, so we're stuck here for eight hours. That's fine. We can be stuck here. They can come after me. We can totally take them on. Base comes live, sound of boots, suit up. Kilo. Uh, we're going to remove that pilot and replace with Tango. Yeah, this will be a pretty easy battle. Let's go ahead and deploy. Get ready for combat. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you are enjoying the stream. Hope you're enjoying the game. You can get it on Steam. It's out right now. And I highly recommend it because this is one of my favorite types of games. Sierra 2 is taking so long there. Surround them and finish them off. Roger, copy Delta. All right, so we have two mechs and a tank. And we can see they're crossing lines of fire. This guy actually, oh, he does attack. Oh, he's got a, he's got a rocket launcher. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. That's very interesting. I do note immediately that I can get up here. And I can take two shots at the mech there. Uh, let's... Let's dodge behind there. We will get nicked, probably. But that's okay. Hmm. Let's just end up waiting behind here. Yeah, let's just let's just wait because then we can pop around the corner there. And then big boy here, uh, we can just simply we can simply move him five steps forward. So I don't know when that will hit. Let's just do this though. Just in case. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Oh my word. Okay, he's dead. Okay. That was, uh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, terrifying, but hilarious. Okay, cool. So they're down one. Uh, this unit is going to attack there, which is fine. We can take that hit while moving. There we go. And then we can hit that guy. Would it help if I moved forward? Okay. There we go. Okay, I am gonna get smacked just a little bit. But that's all good. Are there headshots? Headshot was often to ruin the pilot's grooming. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there are headshots, but I don't think it's like one shot, one kill. Headshots. I can't confirm, though. And then they're going to... That's fine. You, on the other hand... Let's move you to right there we're gonna run anyways and then I could probably tell you to attack again it may not be necessary but you never know there we go holy cow that thing packs a punch That unit's crashing, but they still will attack. Our shield is dead, so that's very unfortunate. We are going to run. Actually, I may not even need to, to, to run. I think we can take this guy out without doing anything. We need to still hit this tank and I actually think I can move you up 
I'm pretty sure this tank is dead, but I just want to make double sure. And I think with a couple of right hits, this this guy might die. Although, I don't know. Let's go ahead and move up. And then I can maybe hit him twice without overheating. Is the ES estimated playtime? I have no idea, dude. You can conquer the whole map, yes. Pilots concussed. There's no way that dude survives. Or maybe there is. Okay, they're going to eject. There's no use in doing anything now. We're just gonna wait. So again, he's not going to attack. Looky what here what Havoc is playing. That's right. There we go. So what we got here is a battery as a resource. We got an offensive module. It's a heat sink MK2. Adjust heat dissipation at the core of power and speed, or at the cost of power and speed, excuse me. And reinforced stock. There we go. We got a protector. So look at that. We got an entire mech. This entire mech is ours at no cost. Right? That's what it means. I think that's what it means. Uh, or maybe it's just the S4 tower from the protector mech. Does that give you a new mech? I think it does. I want to say yes. And click this header to decide about all the items. About all of them or click individual. So maybe it's only the... I don't know. You playing an hour? How much longer? Got some chill time? Uh, Probably about another hour. Here we go. So if I... Okay, so from the protector... From the protector, I can take the tower shield. The aggressor is an entire mech, and I can get that entire mech. All that's great, but I do want an entire level four mech. Start the salvage. All right, we are going to hit play. So I think that does give me a full mech, it does it not. Get into the workshop. Oh, I can't, oh, that's right. Um, What do I need? I need a thousand and 10 uncommon, no, that's not it. I just need 800 supplies. Let's go to our inventory. Gonna need me 25. I need a little more. Cool. 800. Let's get to our upgrades. Nice. Now I need 300 to build the Dagum thing. Dagum it. There is a way where you can do more. I just don't know quite what it is. So we need 300 supplies in order to get our next mech. Now what we could do, what we could do is we could go to the units and we could just uh, retrofit things. And that's what we can basically do now. So these guys, I'm trying to think, where did our, Oh, the shield got destroyed, didn't it? That's right. And we don't have another one. Okay, so this is interesting now. So we basically don't have one. Scrap more gear that you don't use. Yeah, so what we're going to do is this... Well, I didn't want to destroy that. Okay, so this is technically what? A glass light right now. But we're going to turn them into a heavy. We have a weight reduction mobility unit of a weight reduction MK1, which reduces his mass by one and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. Which should increase his speed, essentially. So you can see right now his speed is 13, uh, which isn't 
all that great, but not all that bad. He has an overdrive reactor right now, increases power output at the cost of heat capacity, trade speed for lower heat tolerance, or we could go into an afterburn. No, we'll keep that. All right, so we have some medium legs. We could go with a Nox 2M, which would actually reduce the heat, but or reduce the mass, but increase heat dissipation and integrity, which would be great. Never skip leg day, that's exactly it. And then if we did his shooting arm, it would drastically reduce the heat. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, we're fine. So we brought him up a little bit. This is a machine gun. It does uh, 437 kinetic. His second does 176. This does a drastically more and it actually doesn't even, this does more as well. Shoots for a longer period of time. Oh, we don't necessarily want that. The beam is what I really love because it's a constant, but I don't know that we want to use that on our heavy. So instead we're going to go with, yeah, we're going to go with the machine gun <laughs> and we got that boyo rolling. He's still going to be kind of the defender. We just need to get a, a gun that works <laughs> or a shield rather. Uh, and then renegade is a medium class, but I actually think we're going to drop down to a, a smaller, uh, assuming we can ever get there. That's a really good torso. I don't think we need skill. Look at those. Look at those gains. Look at those gains. Oh, yeah. Leg day. No leg day. Leg day. Okay, so we don't have anything light. So that's something we kind of need to look for. And the next time that we play is that we, ha we need to do the light. Uh, we need to start working on light things so we can get a light build going. We're still stuck here for a little bit. But that gives us time to do everything that we need to do. There we go. Cool. Let's go over here to the stuck uh, units. We're going to have ourselves another battle. Yeah, there's nothing you can do, uh, bucko. Suit up. All right, this is a raid. Ra ambushing an enemy convoy. Take as much cargo as possible. Retreat for potential reinforcements. It can be accomplished with one to two mechs. It's a workout. With objectives and enemies spread out on this map, bring your fastest mechs. Sometimes bowing out is better. No, it's not. They're lying. No secondary item? Well, that's That sucks. That's okay, though. Base will approach you throughout combat. We are going to see what this entails. Everyone's good here. Let's deploy. Base have the base has circled around the perimeter. Get ready to pick up the squad. The enemy will hold the site until you do. Getting negative IFF code. We got hostiles in range. Engage at will. Reinforcements should be coming in soon. Roger, copy Delta. We got two mechs. And we got two tanks. We need to move our guys inside objective A for two pings. And then we need to retreat as best as possible. Now what sucks with this is that I have no shield boys whatsoever none of them actually those guys are going after him trying to see who attacks me you know what you are just you're completely undefended I bet I could take you out now we're going to take some hits so I'm actually I am going to go like this and then, dang it, I just don't want to take those hits. And then another hit, can I do three? So that's, I just, I what I want to see, let's see. It doesn't give me the heat. That's what I want to know the most. 
Okay, we're not going to be able to do anything there. So we're going to wait for our second shot. And then I'm actually going to run back up. Okay, nope, that's not going to work either. We'll just hang back. Going to hang back there. You, on the other hand, you don't get hit for a while. But your machine gun requires you to be very up close. So what I'm actually going to have you do is come right here. Actually, the further away we are, the less likely he is to hit. So let's go there. Then there. And then I'm going to bust in and come up. Mr. Big Boy over here has a marksman rifle and a handgun. I don't know why you have a marksman's rifle. I don't remember giving you that, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. So there's a good chance that this guy will actually be pretty hurt because he's going to get shot by a sniper rifle. So my thought... Oof, we, we will be in two lines of fire? No, we won't. Might be able to save ourselves there. This dude, I think, is dead. I'm pretty fairly certain he's dead. Instead, we'll shoot at that guy. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Okay, yeah, we totally should have switched over. Yeah, they didn't do much at all. We are decently nicked. No, let's... Man, that's a lot of crap. Got those guys there. He's getting shot at there. And I'm getting shot at twice on that front. Good lordy. But what we can do, here's the cool thing that I like, is that I can actually move in front of this guy. And he's going to take all of those shots. I need to move in front of him faster. To get there. And then do this. So he gets hit the whole time. Now you, you are going to have to move. You're going to fire. Then you're going to move. Then you're going to hit that guy. Then I actually think you have a chance of hitting that. Nope, nope, okay. We all good? No, we're not good because I haven't hit anything. All right, let's try this. Come on, get hit by your own crew. Nope, you didn't get hit at all. There you go. We are getting smashed here. Okay, we do have a tank down, though. This pilot's going to eject. Cool. So that leaves these two guys. Do I get hit at any point? I do get hit if I don't move. So what I need to do is I need to go to the back of the map. No, I don't even need to go to the back of the map. I need to go to the front of the map. I need to go here. Move up just a little bit. Give myself enough time to shoot him again. You, can I go underneath? I can't go underneath. It means I gotta hide behind something so I don't get attacked. Well, I need to move down here anyways. I wish I could move all the way up there. That'd be really cool.
this is gonna just hurt. Like, that's all it is. Let's see, what am I? I'm a medium. They're a medium as well. That's fine, we're just gonna have to take those hits. Oh, I hate it. Now I know that I can run and I can, you know, eject and all that crap, but try not to. There we go, he's concussed, perfect. And he's destroyed. That light couldn't have happened any better. There we go. Now we didn't capture that objective, but I guess we probably actually did. I don't know, but we need some light things. But look at this, we got all those Noxes for free. We got a shield, I need the shield. I'm wondering if we shouldn't just salvage all of this. We got our heavies. We could probably just salvage all of it. We would get 490 supplies. I'll keep that one, because that's an uncommon. That's a big one. Looks like these units are transporting heavy armor sets. They have more integrity than medium, but are heavier, meaning they dissipate less heat and decrease speed. Okay, well there's 491. Uh, we need... I think we just continue exploring, is that what we do? I think that's what we kind of just do. We just kind of walk along and get things worked up. What is this? Repair resource used in the overworld or taken into combat by units with a barrier armor. Here we go, boyos. Hold on, can I... I can make that. I forgot that I can make my mech. Cool. Build that. This is incredibly loud. Yep, you are absolutely correct. That's going to take 10 hours, so we're probably not even going to get it in. Um, but that's okay. 